Dr. Jean-Marie Vershow, a professor of virology in the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology. Well, I'm really excited to learn about your VF Canna program. Um, and I find it interesting that this was launched as a university um, supported business. Tell me about that. Uh, so I have been working on virus diseases and canna lilies and our goal has been to help growers uh, improve their stocks and so we launched this new initiative through Cowboy Technologies where we can uh, act as a private entity to provide clean canna plants to wholesale growers and to consumers. And what was what are some of the benefits of launching this as a business um, that becomes self-supporting? Uh, so one of the things that we're concerned about um, is really helping the Oklahoma economy. Mm -hmm. Canna lily and the horticulture industry is a huge industry for Oklahoma. And, uh, and for example, Horn Canna Farms here in Oklahoma yes. is a national um, sale wholesaler producing bulbs um, and, uh, uh, for distribution nationally and internationally. And we felt that by uh, working as a private entity, we were more likely to provide uh, useful stocks to the wholesale system and really create a good partnership with the wholesalers where if we are a private entity, we have to guarantee our what we're selling and mm -hmm. what we're producing to the, the customer, be it a wholesaler or, or the consumer who's planting it in the garden. If okay. we're just as a research lab, we can just do our best mm -hmm. and, and ask for forgiveness if we make mistakes. So, so here we're having a certified virus-free product. It's really all about quality. It's all about quality, mm -hmm. yes. Well, with this program, you've been working with a viral complex um, that was once thought to be maybe a single virus, um, but you found that's not the case. Tell us about that. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at this, there are a lot of people who are just fans of cannas. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't treat cannas like daffodils. You know, <laughs> they really love their cannas, they're excited mm -hmm. about them, and there are blog sites everywhere on cannas. And um, people will discuss diseases and disease problems, and they often describe the canna virus mm -hmm. as though there is one major problem that is, is affecting everything. And what we found through our research is there's about five different viruses. Mm -hmm. And they cause different types of symptoms and different types of problems. Yeah. Some are very manageable and, ha and can be handled. And so, um, I, yeah, I can show you some examples of, okay. of, that will help educate the consumers. Of, yeah. And here, just to kind of get our audience acquainted, we have a few different varieties that we're going to be looking at. So um, you want to start with the red? Right. Leaf. So, mm -hmm. and I should add that um, here with VF Canna, we are producing 24 different varieties. Mm -hmm. um, we have red varieties. We have green varieties. We have variegated varieties. Mm -hmm. um, and so one virus can look different on different plants. Right. And mm -hmm. it's really hard for the consumer to know when they're picking up an infected plant um, that's green versus an infected plant that's red because they true. look very different. Mm -hmm. So for example, this red variety here is Australia and you can see here. Really well, nice healthy plant yeah, back here. Absolutely mm -hmm. lush, mm -hmm. uniform, uniform leaves. Um, and here's an example of a virus infected, the, one of our most severe examples for the red varieties. Where it stops, what's interesting is that plants that produce red, when they become virus infected, lose their red. Yeah. They either yeah. turn green or they turn brown. Mm -hmm. And so you can see here the beginning of virus symptoms where it's actually um, losing its red color. And in the end, it will turn brown like that leaf. Mm -hmm. And you have another cultivar just behind it. Uh, that's Cleopatra, which has the green and red. Yeah. But when that's infected, the red goes away. So it's got these beautiful red stripes on the leaves. Mm -hmm. And it's. Um, Cleopatra is kind of a high-end variety. It, it costs more in the shops. Um, it's a very unique foliage because there's like a single red stripe on the leaf. When it's really healthy, the red stripe is very broad. When it's sick with virus, the red stripe can completely go away. Mm -hmm. Now with our green varieties, um, we'll see some different coloration. And then yeah. this one's actually kind of a model. Right? Yeah, this mm -hmm. is a red-green variety. Some mm -hmm. people call it bronze. Right. And here's an example of a really healthy leaf where you can see the green is kind of a shade. Mm -hmm. But the red really takes over. Yes. But as and it becomes sick, yeah, the green that. really takes over. Mm -hmm. So as though the virus sim symptoms completely turn the, the red leaves green. Mm -hmm. And if we go over here, it can even become brown and curled. 
pub. So that's a very sick plant. Now this plant has a little different look to me. It's more spotty. Is yeah. that a different virus? It's then? a different virus, mm -hmm. correct. So one, one of the viruses um, causes what we call necrosis. It mm -hmm. really just kills the leaf. And other, another virus, which is more mild, mm -hmm. um, really causes spotting. Okay. And you can see the spotting accumulating on the neighboring yeah. leaves. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people when they're looking at plants for purchase, um, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's just nutritional or light stress. Um, if you see two leaves that are sick, you probably have a virus infection. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking here, both leaves look sick. Yeah. And so I would avoid that plant completely. Let's look at um, these green varieties. Okay. And we can see really nice, healthy, dark, lush foliage. Right. Becoming a little bit. And that's called a mosaic pattern. Pale. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more pale. Mm -hmm. You see streaks and spotting on the leaves. And then I think the other one, a lot of variegated cannas are really popular. How yeah. can you judge the health of those? Because some, some of this modeling people That's might right. confuse for the variegated right. coloration. Right, because mm -hmm. you think paler may just be variegated. And, yeah. Right, yeah. and here's, here's some examples in the variegated variety. Okay. This, for example, mm -hmm. is a variegated variety. The variegation isn't very, is not uniform. Mm -hmm. And you see necrosis on the leaves. Okay. It's starting to turn brown. Starting, yeah, a little, and it seems like it follows the veins. It follows bit. the veins, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's really characteristic of the virus. Mm -hmm. And you see it on two leaves. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then another example is another virus called tomato aspermivirus, which actually causes yellowing in the leaves. And that's yellowing turning to necrosis. Mm -hmm. And here's another example of tomato aspermivirus that looks very yellow. Okay. Whereas the healthy plant right behind it is, an, is a nice green with a variegation. So you can see healthy members around them. Mm -hmm. Very different. So we can see necrosis along the veins, yellowing that looks like it's just kind of senescing, kind of mm -hmm. wilting off is yeah. another virus, and then the mosaic pattern. So here's another example of a green variety with a very mosaic pattern oh, yeah. on it. Very obvious. Now, through VF Canna, mm -hmm. the VF stands for virus free. So That's you've right. worked out um, some systems in the laboratory and yeah. in the greenhouse to eliminate completely four of these five viruses. Correct. And then to select against the fifth. Is that correct? correct? Yeah. So this greenhouse that we're in right now is our selection greenhouse, mm -hmm. where we're going through and screening to identify the healthy stocks. Um, we and then we have more procedures for producing virus three free stocks through tissue culture and other chemicals. So like you said, we can completely eliminate four and the other one we can uh, reduce to a very minimal level that it's barely detectable. So the plants look lush and healthy. Mm -hmm. And the important thing for the consumer is that they have beautiful foliage and beautiful flowers. Right, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, and we have another greenhouse dedicated to that where we just have completely clean, healthy, plants. So this is the screening. If you find a healthy plant, mm -hmm. then do you ver how do you verify that this is virus free? We run a several diagnostics on the plants okay. to identify all the viruses that could be a problem. Mm -hmm. we, um, and then we go through further selection. We segregate our sick from our healthy plants and mm -hmm. care for them carefully and, and continue to, to grow them. So once they make it to the production state, those mm -hmm. plants then become available for sale by wholesalers, but also by consumers. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have one greenhouse ready for any consumer who wants to buy a potted plant that's, that we can certify as clean, ready to go into their garden. Mm -hmm. And then we are also working with, um, with growers also to provide them with clean bulbs for propagating in the farms mm -hmm. and in greenhouses. And how do homeowners go about purchasing the virus-free stock? We have a website called mm -hmm. vfcana.com and we have an online cart as well that they can just purchase through and they can contact us through the website. And your website also has some wonderful just basic information about all the different diseases that yeah. we might see on canna and also just general maintenance, how to grow a healthy plant. Yeah, and the importance of that is also for the wholesaler and the greenhouse. There's very few people who can help them with information. We're, uh, we're very lucky um, because we're, we're providing a service to the Oklahoma growers that we can tell them what, what looks clean, what looks not clean, um, and really give some reassurance to the greenhouse industry that what they're selling is a quality product as well. 
Wow, this is a great program for Oklahoma, and I'm really excited to share it with our viewers. Thank, Thank you. you.